This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. Now in the previous video, we created this out of band management network. And you might say, well, I don't have an out of band management network. And that's not a problem. We could simply delete the direct links between switches and build a topology in this way. You just need to be careful. If you don't have an out of band management network and you are making changes to interfaces as an example, your script could be blocked if spanning tree is converging or something else happens on your network. So an out of band management network is preferred if you have that option. But notice we could run our script again. And as long as the script has IP connectivity to the devices in the network, it'll be able to make configuration changes on those devices. So we've already made configuration changes to, in this example, switch four. And at this point, my script is hanging because it may have a problem accessing switch five using the in-band management network. So it looks like it didn't complete. Let's verify connectivity to the devices in the network. It looks like I was actually too impatient because it was busy configuring the switch. So show IP interface brief. Let's test if we can ping that switch, and we can. So I may have just needed to wait a bit for say spanning tree to converge. That's the problem with using an in-band management network. If spanning tree is converging or there's another problem on the network, your script or application will not have access to the network devices. So here you can see it completed without any problems. An out-of-band management network is better than an in-band management network, but that's not always possible in all networks out in the real world. Now, one thing we're not doing in our script is saving the configurations of devices after we've made changes to them. So what I'll do is simply add another line here called WR. You could do copy run start if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna use the abbreviated version. And now it's a simple matter of running the script and letting the script save the configuration of the devices. So if I connect to the console of switch two, you can see that David has accessed it via Telnet. And you can see now that the configuration has been saved. Let's jump to switch three. You can see that David has accessed it via Telnet and again, the switch configuration is being written, and that'll just continue. This is again one of the advantages of using a script. If you want to implement repetitive tasks, such as configuring VLANs, scripting or programming is just so much better than doing it manually. So this is the script once again. You can get a copy of the script below this video. With only a few lines of code, we've been able to programmatically change a network such as the following. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.